This patient comes in with epigastric pain and diarrhea. We get a CT scan with intravenous contrast, and there's a whole bunch of things going on here, but one of the first things we can notice is that there's quite a bit of ascites within the abdomen and pelvis. And as we look closely within the omentum, we can start to see that when you start to separate some of the bowel loops and the ascites from the abdominal wall, there is increased soft tissue, for example, over there, um, and extending all the way out over here. So these findings are highly concerning for peritoneal carcinomatosis. So when I see carcinomatosis, there's a couple of uh, places I like to look in the abdomen and pelvis to look for a primary neoplasm. Certainly look at the pancreas and make sure that the pancreatic duct is uh, the normal size and no pancreatic masses are seen. I run the colon as well to make sure I see no obvious colon cancers. Um, in females, it's important to look at the ovaries. And this last place to look is the stomach. And so if we look at the stomach in this instance, gastric rugal folds in the proximal stomach look pretty unremarkable. As we start to get to the distal stomach, the antrum, right about here, look how thick this gastric fold is right over here and compared to some of the other folds adjacent to it, much more smaller in size. And and the other feature to note is that it's quite vascular and it's of soft tissue attenuation. As we scroll through it on this slice as well, you can see how uh, nodular and thickened and irregular these loops of gastric folds are compared to some of the other loops. And so that finding is highly concerning for a gastric neoplasm, specifically an adenocarcinoma. So this patient underwent endoscopy and this indeed turned out to be a gastric adenocarcinoma with findings of carcinomatosis in the abdomen and pelvis.